Dino Wong. And there's that combination that the Dino. Action there. And the reaction is priceless. Yeah. Hey. Hey. in the middle. Carlos scores. Domingo again. Wow. Oh. third conference, medyo gigil kami na makakuha ng panalo kay Kim Lyon. Totoo naman na added pressure yon pag siya kumusyo kalaban namin because nandun yung extra push na to play our best because of course we want to keep that winning streak against them. Crazy talaga pagka siya kumusyo game kasi there are some rallies na hindi talaga kami nagkakarinigan. Kremlin is a strong team na halos lahat gustong talunin and isa kami doon. It's always tough to beat a champion team. They're relentless on defense, relentless on offense as well. They have a very tall front line, so it's extra challenging for me and Kyle as playmakers to make sure we get to maximize our spikers and cream. We're sister teams, and knowing cream line, very competitive pa rin. So, mabibigyan namin na magandang laro yung Choco Mucho. It's so easy to say to win against cream line, but how isa-isahin namin point by point. Look at them, look at them. Yeah, Magalanza is so active. Carlos, Carlos, a signature kill. enters our final. Cream line, by Tyler, see you on court. See you on court. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Patrick Castillo. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio. Let us welcome our starting lineup from our Chocomucho Flying Titans. Let's begin with our team captain, where jersey number 14, Isabel Beatriz De Leon. At number one, Maria Lina Isabel Molde. And jersey number two, Desiree Winea Cheng. At number 10, Katrina May Tolentino. At number 12, Jamenea Ferrer. And at number 22, Cherry Rose Luna. Libero, number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro Revilla. Head coach, Mr. Edget Mabaya. Let us welcome our Cream Line Cool Smasher. Team captain wear jersey number two, Eliza Valdez. At number five, Risa Sato. In jersey number 12, Julia Melissa Morado de Guzman. Number 14, Jeanette Panaga. Number 18, Diana May Carlos. And guest player from Turkey, number 21, Yeliz Basa. Libero, number 11, Kyla Liana Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. This match is under the regulation and supervision of the Games and Amusements Board. Starting lineups for both the Chocomucho Flying Titans, again without Adina Alieva, who is out on health and safety protocols, just announced prior to the match. And then their opponents, of course, the number one team in the reinforced conference, a Chocomucho Flying Titans without Gemma Galanza in the starting lineup. Tots Carlos is in alongside Yellow Basa. No set Domingo as well for the Cool Smashers. All right. will be Risa Sato. Sato occupying. The, the original ano, uh, starting uh, MB. And their new setter starting us off. <laughs> Without new setter, then the new look, new hairdo, 
A lot of people didn't recognize her. Gia de Guzman will get us going. Welcome to Choco Mucho versus Creamline for the Reinforced Conference. Basa. First point going to Creamline. What is the important part, the early part here para sa Choco Mucho, especially when they're going to miss their uh, reinforced uh, or their reinforcement, their guest player today. Well, first of all, Catalin Dino has to put in the numbers. She has to be in her usual average of 20 plus points per game if they want to match the offense of the Green Line 2 Smashers. And right now, you can see Gia Morado de Guzman recognizing that Jem Ferrer is in that setter's position. Shortest player on the floor and ang katapat niya, Yellow Basa, the reinforcement of Green Line. So they just need to exchange points in terms of offense, they have it in them already. They have the tools, but yun nga, they will be playing without uh, their import today. 25-point average for the prolific Odina Alieva. Unfortunate, especially knowing the importance of this match for Choco Bucho. Double quick! Instant combination play for the Flying Titans. Great setup. From Jem Ferrer giving Catolentino a back quick play. Nakita naman ng double block ng cream line yung setup, but they were just too late to defend that ball. 2 1. Thoughts. Cheng. Chance ball, a high one given by Denise. Panaga Pumaso. What happened there, Neil? Mukhang na-miscalculate ni Gia Morado de Guzman yung set or perhaps it was uh, Pangs Panaga's approach that got her confused. As of the moment, 14,600 spectators inside. Over 15,000 was the last matchup. We'll get an updated number later on as the match goes on. But first, Cheng goes for the high hands. No, nope. no touch, says Patrick Castillo, our first referee. So Bobocho will be challenging that ball. Early challenge opportunity for the Flying Titans. They're asking for a check ball on one of the blockers of Creamline from that Des Cheng hit. Ayan, pang isang importante niyo si Des Cheng. She has to really come up today. Jem Ferrer. Gia de Guzman, two generations of not only setters for Ateneo, but best setters for Ateneo, won their awards. And of course, the championships claimed by Gia. All right, let's look at this. Yellow says she didn't touch anything, but, but, but. Ooh, Pans Panaga's four finger. <laughs> and she's just laughing right now on the floor. Walang takas pagdating sa challenge system. And that point will go to Choco Mucho. And Jim Mabaya, his second game as the interim coach. I'm sure the Choco Mucho fans are also happy to see Denise Lazaro Revilla back, yeah. back in that starting libero possession. Kat and Jim went for the same. Ran out of space. The power of the MVP, Thoughts Carlos Boy. If we're going to see a lot of court time for her today, the fans are going to be really happy. Siyempre, namiss din nila yung pabat na laro ni Tots Carlos. Underhand. Kat finds a hole. Good dive by Atienza. Valdez sends it over. Jem chooses the middle. And that is what Jem Ferrer provides at the center. A lot of quick plays. Low pass setting in the wings. And we've seen this multiple times already. She would start for the Flying Titans and later on when they need a stronger blocking, that's the time Tina Wong comes in. To offset the height disadvantage of Jem Ferrer. Her good friend Des Cheng with a wonderful serve. And a service ace. That will be the key to victory for the Flying Titans. Actually, they're heavy serving. We know that every time we line, uh, has a difficult time in getting that first pass. Yun yung usual sets na nawawala sa mga kamay nila. And for Creamline, they already know that in the game against Army. In uh, all of their games actually that uh, they played, reception was 
their keys para makatawid. Jem will set it up. Atienza with a get. Nobody there, so a chance ball for Chocomucho. They open up. Set back. Ferrer in the middle. Another quick hit from Cherry Lunan. And uh, this will force Coach Sherwin Menezes to call an early timeout. Chocomucho with a five point lead. Down five early here in the first. What you get from that timeout, Neil? Again, uh, the reception of Dreamline, Mezzo, hindi pa as stable for Sherwin Menezes, giving technical instructions with some blocking pattern and the offense ng Fly Titans. As you can already see, Jem Ferrer going to a lot of quick attacks. I feel like they're trying to replicate the mm -hmm. combination plays na mabibilis ng two smashers to keep in step with their offense. Two best receiving teams. Kaya maganda yung tanong ni uh, partner Paneng. Then, Kat rolls it to the other side. And it still ends up as a Choco Mucha point. And we get to the first technical timeout to the delight of the fans of Choco Mucha. They're up six. The signal postpaid for more super loaded bonding moments. Get free three months and more when you subscribe today. Call 8885555 now. Back to the action inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena. And there is a lot of it, especially on the side of the Choco Mucha Flying Titans. As we go to Lexi Rodriguez after the seven point lead for the Choco Mucho. Go ahead, Lexi. Coming off from a one-week break after that sweep over the auctioneers, the pressure is real and is fully on the Choco Flying Titans side. And on this matchup today, they try to improve their 3-3 record and break free from the major logjam in the middle. And kahit nakulang ang players nila today, hindi raw magkukulang ang kanilang motivation na makamit ang matamis na panalo. Over that week-long break, they balance it out with proper meditation and warming up. At sabi nga, ni Coach Edgit, ipaparamdam nila ang kiwala nila sa sarili para maniwala ang lahat na kaya nila yan. And that's why, let's tune in and let's see who prevails. We're back to the panel. Coach Edgit Mabayad, the former UAP MVP, season 69, former national team player. We'll talk more about him a little later on. His team is up by six. Jeng, sorry, Molde. Valdez. How many years have we seen that? Probably the best to do it. But I suppose that this guy did her hit so well that she got the defense of Choco Mojo out of system. She just disguises that approach and the swing so well. Doesn't hurt that she can float a little bit in the air. <laughs> Four serving nine. Good decision by Denise. We do like the effort of Pax Managa trying to challenge 
uh, the reception of Denise Lazaro Revilla, but you have to get those serves in. Second best serving team. Talking about the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Serving's gonna be essential for Choco Mucho. They're not their second worst in terms of that department. That hit the floor already to so. for Cherry Luna. So that will be another point for Tots Carlos. One of the few times na may kita natin si Tots Carlos na magsisimula in the starting unit for Dreamline. It has always been Gemma Galanza because she has provided a very steady reception and digging in the back row. Catching the tape of the net. That's another un unforced error on the line for Creamline. Choco Mucho maintaining their distance here in the first set. 11-5 is the distance. Capitolentino, who averages 11.4 in the reinforced. We all know what she's capable of doing. Over. Running. Valentino. And a high chance ball for Green Line. Gia back to Risa. Alam mo na eh. niya talaga eh. That zero tempo short slide attack. Signature. Risa Sato. Textbook. Volleyball really for Green Line. Run and gun. Sato San. It was just too fast. He didn't even get a chance to go up for that uh, block. The tip works for Jeff and Bea. Dora Cole, this time in the defense of the Cool Smashers. But they do have Yellow Basa in the front to provide that, that offense against Jeff Ferrer. So you can, you can actually expect Bea de Leon or Jeff Ferrer to switch places in the blocking Ooh. pattern. All right, all right. Gia chooses Sato. Another chance ball given to the number one attacking team in the league. Basa! Wide! No check ball. But there was a net violation called on Bea de Leon. And ah. She acknowledges that error, so that will still be a point ah. for the Cool Smashers. A fortunate break there for Creamline. Yung pagpasok ng kamay ni Jem. Jem reverses the cat. Looks so easy on TV. In person, that is a tough set. That's the thing when you don't have your reinforcement. Someone will be forced to take on the reins. But the thing's offense. Gantan ng pitik ni Jem. Neil. Also, can we say, Jem Ferrer physically looks at her yes. best the last two conferences, really. It's a great block by Pangs. Hindi pwede yung mga soft na ganyan. Right anticipation on the side of Pangs Panaga. It was a really soft hit from Tess Cheng. Just wanted to put that over. Yep. But she didn't quite see Pangs Panaga. Five point lead. Gia de Guzman. Ferrer, back to Kat. Kat! Not the strongest, but just the right tempo to get that to drop. Choco Mucho has scored multiple times in the gitna of the defense of the rim line. They need to adjust their position so that they can get uh, these soft hits. Gia, Sumenez kay Pans, Senarado, Lutheng, Bumawit! Great start for the Flying Titans. Up by seven points without Odina Alieva, so that's a good sign. We wish her well. Get well soon to Odi. Jeb with that sharp serve to Kaila. Off system. Chance for Choco Mucho on the counter. Cat again. Increasing the efficiency of her conversion, and they will have an 
eight point lead as we enter our first tactical timeout. We're back inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena. So far, as we said, 14,000, almost 14,600. It was at 15,300 the first, the last time in July. On a Thursday. On a Thursday. <laughs> You're right, because that last time I think was a, a weekend. Yeah. It was a Saturday. Thursday, crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena. And I'm sure People who are settling in as we go through our first set. Panaga settling into this match with that quick. Gia Morado de Guzman continues to give a lot of sets to the middle blockers of Cream Line, still trying to get the blockers scrambled on the side of the Flying Titans. <laughs> Gem chases from the back. Good recovery by Tots. They swing it over to Valdez. That's too low. That's yeah, that, a tough set yeah, to begin. That with. was a difficult hit to make, even for Eliza Valdez. High break ball coming from Gia de Guzman. No clearance on that hit. So that point will go to Choco Mucho. It's not often uh, na makikita mo yung cream line down by this much because they have been very uh, dominant, I would say. Only one loss so far here in the preliminaries. In a five-set thriller too against the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. All still chasing the semi-final seat. Atienza, bump set to Tots, high hands. Ferrer opens up. Molde sent back. Atienza saw that. Gia back to Valdez. Down the line. Tinurupa. What a sharp angle for Eliza Valdez. Challenging Cantolentino on the block. Hitting that line. Through the eye of a needle for Eliza Big. Valdez. Seventeen for Choco Mucho, ten for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. First set action. Denise got again. Gia was there sliding for the dig. Then looks at Cat. Cat reloads off the head of Risa Sato. Six points on six attacks for Tolentino. Very consistent right now, Kat Valentino scoring uh, the bulk of the points here in set number one for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. You can see her hit cross, hit line, get it off the hands of Cream Line's blockers. One point, she had a 31 point game in, in the open conference. 23 point average in the invitation. Like a sakit pa si Kat, remember, towards the end. So you know the capability. That's a good attack. The two fighting maroons going at it. And uh, you can see the wrist action of Lisa Ball. The intention was there to get it off the double block of Creamline. But Sherwin Manessas will call for another timeout for the Cool Smashers. convert tayo sa counter natin. Nakakadepensa na tayo. Kanina, hindi. Okay, nakakadepensa. Okay, let's go! Enjoy, enjoy. Okay. Lapit lang, lapit lang. Receive na, receive na ulit. Let's go, let's go girls, let's go girls. Hey, cream line! Happy! Okay. 
biggest lead of the game. Sherwin Meneses on your screens. Two-time champion now as, as a coach. 17 years in Adamson University. All in all, his schooling. And then, of course, four years playing uh, for Adamson University and then eventually coaching for the school. Good pass by Eliza. She gets it back. Puts it away. Good pass. Splitting the blockers this time for the Flying Titans. Transition to that combination play from the middle for Eliza Valdez. Michelle Gumabao and Kyle Negrito will make their way in. The, dub, the usual double substitution for Dreamline. You know Michelle's going to get some balls here. <laughs> Michelle, probably one of the more efficient players off the bench in the league. Such an impact player for the five-time champs. Negrito with that familiar running serve is off and long. 2011. This, if you're a fan of Choco Mucho, this is exactly how you want this match to start. Without your guest player, multiple unforced errors already for Dreamline on the service line. Right. That's something that they have to minimize coming into the second set. Kumabao. What a dig by Denden. Oh, Nangigil, si Jem. Let's go to Lexi Rodriguez for this report. Lexi. All right, we'll get back to Lexi in a bit. In the meantime, double sub here on the side of Choco Mucho. It is Dina Wong coming in. Kate Ferai coming in. Kate goes for the high hands. Kyle, yellow. No touch there. Yellow Basa agrees with Patrick Castillo. Now let's go to Lexi Rodriguez. Lex? For Avid fans, everyone's really eager to see all icons playing on the first six. And if you've observed, wala si Seth Domingo sa starting lineup of Coach Sherwin. But nothing to worry about, but it's all because Coach Sherwin wants to try something new. Make no mistake, because even with a certain semifinals position, Creamline is not renowned for resting on its past accomplishments. Now back to the panel. Uh, Coach Sherwin Meneses, of course, has the luxury now to do that safely as the number one team in the semifinals. But you're right, Lexi, we did say that they have no reputation of taking competition off or a day off or taking it easy. One of the, they are very proud in terms of their competitiveness individually and as a team. But Chocomucho starting off like a house on fire right now, ahead by eight. The challenge is net touch. Let's see. On the yellow Basa attack. None? None. That will be an unsuccessful challenge on the side of Dreamline. That point will remain with Choco Mucho. Eight point lead. Sherwin Menezes on your streams. 1999 to 2003 as the setter for Adamson University. And he looks like he just graduated from college. You know, Zabi Kulaki Sanaje, Ejit Mabayat Naman, 2003 to 2007, went to the finals four straight years, won three straight before losing that last one, and then USD ran up five straight championships after that. Swipe. Back set. Chang finds a crack in that wall. Choco Mucho has been very successful in breaking the blocking of Dreamline. And uh, Coach Sherwin unhappy with what he's seeing right now. Twenty-two thirteen, an eleven point lead. Would you believe it? Oh 
Michelle. Oh! What a hit. Takes a cannon. She apologizes. She says, I'm sorry, I'm just that strong. <laughs> it was so fast. Nina nakareact si Bia de Leon. Babalik ngayon si Gian de Guzman and Tots Carlos to give that full front line for the Cool Smashers. She is so heavy handed, isn't she? Again, always with an impact off the bench. Gian de Guzman now. 14 serving 22. Virai, that's her oh, okay. Sharp cross from Virai. It was already a break ball. Again, a difficult set to hit, but impeccable timing. Ha! <laughs> uh, si Coach Ejit Mabayan. Well, knows a thing or two about sharp crosses. Cap Tolentino. Kerry Lunard back. Front line and Jim Ferrer will set to them, including Desiree Chen. Pasa. Oh, unbelievable get by Den. Pasa again. Den will set. High ball to Kat. Oh, what a hit from Kat Tolentino, but let him have that point to Den Mendazo Revilla. What a dig coming from that yellow pass ahead. Then gives a high set, underhand set to Kat. Kat puts it away. I remember that game of Choco Mucho against F2 Logistics. Lindsay Stalter also had a difficult time against Lenden. Against Lenden Lazaro Revilla. Carlos, smart hit, gets it through the seam. So much control in that top spin for Tots Carlos. All right. Just right there, right at the gap. Biggest lead was 11 here in this set. Over Doug. Chance ball. Oh! oh! And an out of system is the point that gives them the first set. John Mucho in dire need of a win again to keep their steady seat alive. It was a chance ball for Greenline. Definitely. But nobody got that first touch. <laughs> <laughs> she can't believe it. Well, your fans do. 1-0. Twenty-five, fifteen. The Choco Mucho Flying Titans looking for their fourth win, looking for two straight wins, by the way, under Coach Edjet Mabayad, taking the first set, twenty-five, fifteen. A lot of the highlights mostly belong to uh, Choco Mucho. Six points led by Capolatino. You can clearly see the game plan of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans: heavy serving, a lot of fast plays from Jem Ferrer, even the double substitution of Coach Edjet Mabayad getting dividends. Nathan Ferrer scoring off that auto system play. And for Dreamline, they just really have to be stable on the floor. Hindi pa nakakuha ng magandang bola masyado si Yellow Basa. And they do have to activate her if they do want to win this game. Pasok na sila sa semis, but we know that every time they're up against Shoko Mucho, it's really a matter of pride. And in the past six outings of these sister teams, I think it has always been Dreamline on top. 6-0. It's a 6-0 count so far. And you look at the attacks. It is not often that Dreamline gets out attacked yeah. like that. And uh, look at the aces. Choco Mucho yeah, scored right. two yeah. service aces. They got Dreamline a lot of times out of system. Tapos dagdagan pa natin ng three more unforced errors on the side of the Bull Smashers from that service line. And that spelled the difference in set number one. 
27 minutes is what it took. Again, for those who just tuned in, no, Odina Alieva, who enters the health and safety protocols. They start with uh, Cheng and uh, Tolentino. We saw Isa Monde also contributing for Choco Mucho. I don't know if you have any experience, Neil, of um, changing coaches mid-season, but if you don't, what, what's the toughest challenge and how, as a player, do you adapt the coaching change, even if your coach is already there. You know, see Edget, of course, Coach Mona, they're all there yeah. still. Uh, oh, what's the challenge for a team like Chokomuchu? Well, when, it, when you talk about systems, hindi naman nagbago ng system, masiguro. I would say the training would still be the same, the drills would be the same, but I guess it's really the coaching style of the head coach, how they talk to the players, ah, how they motivate right. the players on the floor. Yun lang yung pinaka nakikita kong pagkakaiba but uh, I am sure na kung ano yung ginagawa nila in the past, yun pa rin yung ginagawa nila. Because you don't want to change anything too drastic, ano? As Tots Carlos cuts it to the right side and gets the first point here in set number two. Coach Sherwin will be sticking to the starting unit. Still no Gemma Galanza and no set Domingo on the floor for the Moon Smashers. Lazaro Revilla getting that first ball. Jeff continues to activate the middle of the Flying Titans. Another big quick play for Cherry Nunag. You can see the versatility of Tots Carlos. Pag nasa harap si Elo Basa, she would occupy that left pin. But yes. when Eliza Valdez moves to the front line, babalik siya sa opposite side of the court. Which is also something uh, she excelled in, won her MVPs with. Being a, a deadly opposite hitter. Ejet Mabaya. Did you ever see him play? I don't know if I ever asked you that question, Neil. Did yeah, I did. Him? I watched oh. him play during his UAEP days. FU days. <laughs> yes. You know, there, there was talk that they said before Mark Espejo came in, he, it was, was the man. Bye, definitely, no doubt about that. He, he, is, he started off as an open spiker and then eventually moved into the middle. There were there was word I remember during because I was covering the men's during that run, and they were saying that maybe he should have even won season 70 MVP. He was leading in statistical points, would have been a two-time MVP, but. Won three championships for FU, probably one of the best, if not the best, volleyball product they have in the men's division. Also won a championship, by the way, in the old iteration of the PBL with National University. Such a decorated player, itong si Ejik Mabai, right. now the head coach of Choco Mucho. Valdez. Revilla. Molde cross court, De Jesus was there. Oh, it worked, it still worked. Yeah, they missed time that block. It was already a broken play for Risa Sato and Jed Guzman. But they found that spot with that soft dip. Carlos. Goes to her former teammate, Tolentino. Dug up. Valdez cleared for takeoff. One handed dig. They cannot keep it in play. It's a clean line with a three point lead early here in set number two. This is the offense we've been looking for the side of the line. And they have always dominated that department. And uh, it was unusual to see them lag behind the output of Choco Mucho. Yeah, slow start, you know? Very slow start. That is in! Long serve drops in on the top spin for Caloy. That spin driving that ball down. Four point lead for the Cool Smashers. Perfect first ball, no, not so. But they get it back. Send it to the other side. Pasa. Valdez. Jem saw that. Back to Cat. 
Rally here, ongoing. Valdez goes through the block. Yes. <laughs> Just powered that through the double block of Choco Mucho, and they're now up by five. Four attack points already on the side of Creamline. They also have one service ace. Man, those arms are so long, and she still finds a crack. Amazing. Looks like we just needed time to warm up in set number one. Cat. Delayed by the block. But this again, not this time, says Cat. Trying to go down the line once again. But you can see the positioning of the hands of Kat in that last sequence. Roofing Eliza Valdez. Three serving seven. Good target by Kat. They will target Eliza Valdez and Kyla Genza. Eliza in uh, the top 10 in this reinforced conference of digging and receiving. Six. The part of the game that she's really improved, but of course, that doesn't mean teams won't target her. The kit, very tight set by Jen that night, and she knew it too. So, meet four, three line gets to the first technical timeout ahead. Watch and support Aquilas Filipinas live in the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. Follow My Team Pass Philippines, now available to give you access to all five Aquilas Filipinas games in the preliminary round. Purchase your tickets via register.worldcup.basketball. Hashtag win for all. Valdez serving 8-4, cream line. Valdez with the get. Cheng, that's too low for Kat. The chase by Gia. Basa trying to swipe it. She smiles. Trying to get away with a quick one. There was definitely no touch hit to Jem Ferrer because Basa was above the blockers. Five serving eight. One set belonging already to Choco Mucho. Oh, welcome back, Risa Sando. Bringing uh, her Japanese style of volleyball here as a side on Dreamline. And she would always be at the zero tempo every single time. She was part of the team where Coach Edge took to the championship of the old uh, V League prior to the PVL. Let's go to Lexi Rodriguez for more updates. Lexi? Although Greenline has already qualified for the semi-final center, Gia de Guzman believes that the Blue Smashers should play as if they are still in contention. According to Gia, the, every set that they enter, they have to act as if it it's their first. She explains that they know that all their opponents put in as much effort as they do. And hopefully, let's all hope that they show this effort on this second set. Now back to the final. Thank you, Lexi. And so far, they're looking good. Up by three. Passa. Dug by Molde. They go back to yellow. Jam. Good not 
chasing anymore. Yalombasa just utilizing her power in those hits. Trying to go line, then cross. Four point lead for Gia and Cream Line. In front of four, more than or almost 15,000 fans here. Second ball pull away, pull away doesn't work. Carlos, that's out, no touch. Eliza will challenge, she says. They will ask for a check touch. Ball. Uh, yep, long touch, oh. Eliza thought there was a check on the Tots Carlos swing. So let's see again. Very important match for Chocomucho, looking for their fourth win here in the semifinals earlier today, or not in the semifinals, in the preliminaries. Earlier today, Cherry Eagle. What a game that was, especially that fifth set. So entertaining. Really LDT high yes. speed hitters going down in five sets. That takes them out of the running already. Yeah. So we're just waiting for a few more games yes. to really determine the final four teams in the semi-final round. Yes, there was a block touch. It was. It will be called again. Let's check. Good eye by Eliza. So the timeout will be called by Coach Edgett. Coach Edget trying to settle down the girls here. And Coach Edget uh, giving instructions to the blockers of Chocobucho. They do have to establish their base first before they go up for that attempt. And it will be very hard for you to deflect the hits of green line. But a wave you go shot, no yes. blocking. So, kailangan both feet planted on the ground before you make that jump. Misreceived. Cheng rolls it to the other side. Basa was there though. Thoughts again. No rolling ball there, but access denied by Desiree Chang. That was the third block registered already by the Flying Titans here in set number two. They're trying to keep it close with their defense, but in terms of offense, it has been cream line up top. Valdez to Gia. Gia to yellow. <laughs> Pavilia pops it up. Oh, but not that time. <laughs> That's a good exchange between uh, these two athletes, Yellow Basa and uh, then the Lazaro Revilla. Saya, you know, as a fan, just seeing this. This was the first one, so the second one already in between the two players. Smart by Kat. Eight is the score. Green line down a set here. Thursday action. As we are winding down our festivities here in the preliminary rounds. Nobody home. As Eliza Valdez miss receives that one. They continue to target her. They can get a serve. They can get service aces here. That would really help their cause. Talking about Chocobucho, some free points. That was the first service ace of the set for the Flying right. Titans. Right. Kanina na kadalaw sila, no? In the first set. That one's out. Straight to coach. Jorge de Brito. It's right beside. Priscilla Rivera. Joanna Maraginot. All in attendance. A whole Akari team, actually. 
are here, scattered all over. Excellent debut for uh, the Akari Chargers. Congratulations to them. Big win against the Cargo Movers. Big win with their big mama. Still alive. Easy over. For them. We'll go to Cherry. Panaga was there for coverage. Nope. Another chance ball here for Chocomucho. They go to the middle. Capitolentino with that scissor play. Chocomucho executing their transition plays on that counter attack really well. Capitolentino this time from the middle. Cherry Luna going for that slide attack. So they have, uh, the centers have different ways on how they split the blockers. Gia to Tots. Oh, and a headshot by Tots Carlos. It was so fast. <laughs> They're close. Uh, friend. Yes. Uh, close to sila yes. off the court. Cherry Luna yes. against Tots Carlos. <laughs> oh boy, that was so fast. Look at that. And that's why fans miss Tots Carlos playing. She'll be on the bench to recover just for a second. Cat. Then we'll go back. Tolentino rolls it. That's smart by Tolentino. You can see her just trying to find a way to score off the blockers of Dreamline. When you don't get it with power, get it with a cut shot just to get the defenders behind off timing. That is what exactly happened with Ella de Jesus. 11 serving 14, set number two. Gia trying to put it away in the second touch. But they get the ball back. They set it to Tots. Set back, but it rolls out. 15 11 three line. 10 attack points already for the Cool Smashers compared, compared to the fight of Choco Mucho. Here's the thing about Tots, too. She is fresh all season here in the <laughs> reinforced. Ibabat mo yan kahit pag five sets yan. And she did have back problems early on, True. but she had a lot of time to recover. Yeah. Somebody touched the net. And it's green line at the second technical timeout here. 16-11. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores, of course, Lexi Rodriguez. Our crew for the second game of our Thursday doubleheader earlier today. PLDT high speed hitters eliminated from semi final contention by the Cherry Tigo crossovers in five thrilling sets. And that was a great crowd also. If people are tuning in and thinking, oh, I'm going to crowd the Chavo Butcher team, or no. But this crowd was here already midway through that first game. Even during that first set, marami ng taong dumating. Just wanted to watch good quality volleyball. Oh, this one's going to sail out. Hitting it off the hands of the shorter, Jeff Ferrer, Yellow Bata, now getting her touches here in the second set. Very minimal the production Kanina, but now she is uh, on fire. Tallest player going up against the smallest player in, on the court right now. Oh, as Sato 
Search it out. It'll be 13 serving 17. BDL doing the honors. The captain of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Panaga gets it through. Naunahan. Swift power tip from Pax Panaga in the seam. It's a block in Ides Cheng and Cherry Hunag. Greenland continues to maintain distance between them and their sister team. What a serve. And a chance ball given to Gia who goes to yellow. Yellow. Dug up. Three ball. Panaga. Great reflexes there by both teams. Cheng. Able to score. Putting additional juice on that hit. Des Cheng will score off the left wing. They thought that uh, the ball already died on the floor of the Goose Bashers after that block. Yep. There was no whistle on the side of the first referee, so the play continued. They still emerged on top of that last rally. Four points. Panaga dug up by Perev. Cheng from behind goes for the long ball. Good spot. Good eye. Well, they're finding that corner pocket. Broken play for that pipe attack. He so didn't get the full approach actually, but she still found zone one empty on the side of green line. Cheng with the underhand set. And then the block. Chocomucho with a mini run here, Neil, which prompts Coach Sherwin to call time. Chocomucha has gotten the green light in this set. And then for those of you just tuned in, they did not start with Gemma Galanza nor with Zed Domingo who comes in for the first time. Banaga sits down. Talked about Zed Domingo earlier in our pregame, coming off a 16-point performance against the United Auctioneers Army. Another player who did not start was Jenna Galanza and the applause for her as Yellow Paksa will sit down. Gemma will serve. Coach Erwin Manessas deciding to go all Filipino in this rotation for the Cool Smashers. Why not? 1916. Ferrer will shoot it to Cap. Cap gets it through the block. Galanza with the free ball. Revilla. Ferrer. Kita, kita. It was a soft touch from Cherry Luna that uh, really wouldn't cross. Great blocking being shown to us by the Cool Smashers. And it's about time that they step up when we talk about defense. So ngayon, kung mas cut, mas comfortable ka. Ikaw tatanungin ko, mas comfortable ka, umikot ka, sige, gawin mo yung ginagawa ko. Okay? Shop, shop, shop! Shop, shop! Yeah, desk, desk, tumulit ako. Hey, one, two, three! Ulit lang, ulit lang! Ulit lang, ulit lang! Ulit lang, ulit lang! Mr. Jonathan Nang, as always, in attendance, especially today. Is he wearing that jacket? Yeah, yeah. jacket. 
dual ah, color yeah. jacket. The two face jacket. The two face jacket. <laughs> Galanza getting ready to serve. Four point lead. Mabayat calls the timeout. And they get the point courtesy of Captain Aquino. Be the main gun for Chocobucho today. Will definitely go over her average of 11.4 today. Des Chang scored an ace earlier, so let's see if she can do it again against the receivers of the Cool Smashers. No Odina Alieva. Health and safety protocols for Choco Mucho. Revilla back to Cat. Cat rolls it to the other oh. side <laughs> with the help of the net. Why not? They will take it. Just down by two points. The Flying Titans get another point. Of that set, papunta kay Cat Tolentino. So Greenline has to recognize that pag out of system ang Choco Mucho, most of the sets pumupunta sa right side. So import. It's a cat. guest player. <laughs> that one drops out though. And Edge and it. That will hurt. Yes. Like Titans. Crucial. Expensive error. Domingo will go on deck to serve. 21 18. Ferrer will shoot it to the other side, to Cheng. To Guzman, Galanza will underhand it to Tots. Oh, what a smart play, but it's still alive. What are they going to do? They're going to call. OK, they're going to challenge this mid-play, which you can do. You're allowed to do. A floor touch challenge is what they're going to go for. What did you see, Neil, in real time? That's so tough. I don't know. Yeah, but Even no. I didn't see if it was a valid uh, pancake save from Creamline. That was off the second ball put away by Jem Ferrell. But it's just a challenge system. Yes. So, but that would be a good call for Choco Mucho. Especially at this juncture. If they get this point, they're only down two. Good Sherwin chatting with Edget. On the other side. <laughs> this is what we're gonna wait for. A challenge to a set for teams. You're afforded to you keep it, of course, if it's successful. If it's not, you forfeit that one. Second game of our Thursday doubleheader in front of a mammoth crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Even the scenes outside, Neil, were wild and crazy. And when I say that, I use those terms in really a good way. I saw the lines <laughs> a while ago. When it was the first game. Some people were still looking for tickets. Right. Unfortunately, right. we are sold out. Yeah, it has been. It, it has, has been, been sold out. <laughs> For days already. Edget Mabaya there on the screen. Who played for Coach George Pasqua, by the way, was his coach. So FEU when he won his uh, his championships. His second game now as the interim coach. Having a hard time looking for this one. Because it was mid-play, you know? So let's see. Yeah, so half the hand to have the floor. <laughs> and when you go for those pancake saves, hindi mo naman mapapansin kung ano yung unang tumama eh. The floor or your hand, but... And the applause is for Maddie Madayag. She will be serving for Cherry Nuna. That's right. They've been trying to ease her in. Correct. Then sa Tara Flex score right. to get her back in shape. And we know that she is one of the best blockers during her time Correct. with Choco Mucho and Ateneo. So she wants her, uh, I mean, they want her back in full health. But they also have to be cautious, obviously. That's always a tough balance. As Maddie, sharp serve. Miscommunication on that set. So it's a chance for Choco Mucho. 
Bear is rejected. And so is Chang. Kovic not working for Choco Bucho. That point will go to the Cool Smashers. It's their time to block the hits of the Flying Titans. Carlos will serve, go for the jump. Mike Ortiz will come in for the very first time for the Choco Bucho Flying Titans, replacing PDL. She has been the spark plug for the, uh, the Flying Titans with her signature slide attacks. Got Valdez saw that coming. An emphatic rejection at the net. Good timing on that double block for Eliza Valdez and Risa Sato. Closing out that down the line hit, taking that strong angle away from Catalintino. Sayang din kasi nahuli na yung dikit ni Sato dun. At dumiretso sa kamay. At dumiretso na naman sa mga kamay ni Baldo. Overpass from Choco Bucho. Early Christmas gift for the Cool Smashers. They're now at set point. 24-19. Second set. Ferrer Ortiz for the power tip. First point on that first attempt from Mike Ortiz. Castellino will be serving for the Flying Titans. No room for error now for Choco Bucho. As Creamline looking to tie this match. At one apiece. At Tienza. De Guzman. Sato is rejected. Cheng will go. Tolentino will send it long. Gia to Tots. Tots was there to cover for herself. Valdez sees daylight and puts it away. Eliza Valdez above the double block of Choco Mucho. Definitely has that advantage against Jen Ferrer. And she will close out set number two in favor of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. We are tied at one apiece. Sobrang competitive ako na tao, so na nalabas ko yung competitiveness. At the same time, it's still fun, but syempre, you have a certain goal you want to reach. Ano pa yan? Yee! Pangit. We came from Singapore sa ASEAN tournament. It was my first time to represent the Philippines. And it was my birthday, so I celebrated my birthday on the plane. Ah, saan mo ba nakuha itong mga pictures na ito? Fourth year high school, we won the championship ng Milo Olympics. And syempre, my parents, full support. Dreamt to become a spiker, pero naging setter. Charis! Yee! Ang pangit! High school days pa rin. Ano siya, it was sort of a inter-barangay tournament. So obviously, nag-champion kami. Naging MVP ako. So it was, ano, chamba. Thank you for not giving up. Dahil hindi ka nag-give up, hindi ka dumating sa point na to. So maraming maraming salamat. Until now, hindi ko nga rin alam kung paano. Pero I think through the years of all those hard trainings, mga pagod, iyak, um, dugo, it was all worth it. Kasi syempre, I wouldn't be here if not for all of those. Gigog mate ka. Kaayo. We are back here in the Mall of Asia Arena for the battle of the sister teams between the Choco Mucho Flying Titans and the Creamline Cool Smashers. Choco Mucho took set number one, but Creamline came back in set number two to take that one in 
25 to 20. 14 attacks punched in for the Creamline Cool Smashers. We, we were just even in the blocking department, even in the serving department. But Choco Mucho had uh, more errors this time around. They had uh, two more compared to Creamline. To the delight of the uh, almost 15,000 here at the Mall of Asia Arena, we're guaranteed another set, Neil, with uh, this second set win of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Happy to have you with us. Thank you very much for joining us here on uh, One Sports. For those who are watching, One Sports Plus, of course, Channel 6 and Channel 261 on Signal TV, respectively, and of course on the Signal Play app. Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores, Lexi Rodriguez at your service. Second game of our Thursday double dip earlier. It is the Cherry Tigo crossovers breaking their, their losing streak then. I know that the losing streak then is Cherry Tigo. They come up with a five set win against the PLDT high speed hitters. Third set action. Now there will be no reinforcement on the side of the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Coach Sherwin Meneses deciding to put in Gemma Galanza in that outside hitter position. So Fox Carlos will be the one manning the opposite spiker position. All Filipino tayo for both. Carlos. Good reaction there. And it's still Jeff Perel. No. I think they're going to uh, challenge this as a floor touch again, if I'm not mistaken. Instant challenge right away on the side of the flying climax. They were confident in calling that ball to be a floor touch. So the second referee will consult with the first referee. That's Erlindo Eusebio talking to Patrick Castillo. We're talking to Jem Ferrer. We represent uh, Choco Mucho, BDL, of course, their captain. <laughs> so we're going to have a lull here, Coach. Uh, we don't know if they're going to allow the challenge yet, right? They will consult with the technical table Correct. if that challenge will be granted. Right. Okay, so there. We got the sign now from Erlindo Eusebio that it will be granted. There's still, uh, there's still conversations going on here. Between, uh, <laughs> so we're trying to get uh, some clarifications here. We apologize to our TV audience for the lull. We're still deciding if they're going to allow the challenge or not. Uh, yeah, I, I see the thumbs up, so I think they are going to allow the challenge. Now they're going to look for the play, which is part of uh, the challenge also. Lalo na pagka mid-play na tinawag. The start of, and that was the first, yeah, that was the first rally of our, of our third set. Again, Choco Mucho in need of a win. Keep their semi-final hopes alive. You can actually see how serious Choco Mucho right. is right. when it comes okay. to calling out these challenges because this is a must-win game for them Correct. compared to the side of Creamline. They're already in the semi-finals for Choco Mucho. They have to get past Creamline first before they go up against the, their last opponent in the Signal HD Spikers. Okay, I think we're ready, yeah. I think we're ready to see the challenge. Okay, here we go. Okay, they honored the challenge. 
So it is officially a challenge. And now here we go, the floor touch. Yes. yes, so that point will go to Choco Mucho. That again is after the Jim Ferrer, <laughs> right? And not another one, no? That was a Jim Ferrer's. Uh... And that will be a successful challenge Correct. for the Flying Titles. They so will they get, get the first, first point. Yeah. And that, that, that was the second time another. they had success in. Uh... Now they're deciding whether they're going to give a point or not. Supposed to be, yes, a point for Choco Mucho. That's, let's listen in. All right, so the point officially will go to Choco Mucho to start off set number three. That was just the first point <laughs> of set three, correct. Of set three. Again, the importance of the match, especially for the Flying Titans. Ponce coming in. Uh, Stops Carlos. Swings away. Get that point right back from that thought Carlos hit. <laughs> She's in a hurry. Kinuha <laughs> Tiger. Gemma Galanza to the honors. One all. Ferrer. And saw that coming. Great anticipation. Cherry Nunak has been successful in getting those quick attacks in. Now, that adjusting blocking pattern, the cream line, full commitment from Tots Carlos and Pax Panaga. It's back here at Choco Mucho. Jem will send it to the other side. And Cheng gets the point on that one. Kyla Tienza let that go. She thought but she was hoping for Gemma Galanza to actually pick it up. Two all, set number three. One all, the Choco Mucho and Team Line. Gia, combination to Valdez, open at the back. Combination play has been clicking for the Cool Smashers. Banks Palaga dragging out the middle blocker of Choco Mucho and Eliza Valdez putting the hammer down. Palaga back at the service deck. Three serving two. <laughs> Cheng, sorry, that's Molde getting it off the block and getting the third point of Choco Mucho. Let's go to Lexi Rodriguez right now. The fans want a good fight, and both teams are surely giving them what they want. Nakausap ko nga si Coach Sherwood kanina at tinanong ko if there's any way that they were able to let some pressure off. At sabi ni Coach Sherwood, syempre hindi. But the one thing that he tells his girls and the entire team is to perform well and get things done. And so far, they are only starting to get back on track. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Lexi. 4-3 is our score. Coach Sherwood has decided to sit Yellow Basa down. And she's got her warm up jacket on. She's got her mask on, so might be a while till we see her again. Molde and the dig by Carlos. Valdez giving it away to Choco Mucho. Ferrer. Tolentino scores, and that is her 14th point already. Different spacing we're seeing right now. This offensive pattern of Choco Mucho. Catalentino going for that back quick play. Michael Ortiz approaching for that long slide. <laughs> 14 points on 10 attacks for Catalentino. Ponce keeping it alive. Valdez. Thoughts. With the push, Ponce rejected. Check was there. Valentina from the other side. Chance for Creamline to counter. And it is Domingo who puts it away. And Domingo getting her first point of this match. Aside from Lisa Sato, is a little set Domingo. Samanga ne po provide ng zero tempo plays for Jed Guzman. Five four. 
first set win going to Chocomucho by a mile. Second set, cream line. Now we're here in the third. Three point coming from Alonso Valdez. Both of these teams just trying to negate their strengths. A while ago, it was Choco Mucho challenging the receivers of Cream Line. This time, it's Eliza Valdez giving a difficult time for the Flying Titans to set up their offense. Second best serving team in the league. Cat! You see? Wow, she put some, some mustard on that one. She has been delivering a lot of powerful hits. There were a couple of games that you were see, you would see her hold back in terms of power, but now the power is on for Hurricane Cats. 11.4 average, she is at 15 today. Oh, Domingo with an emphatic reply. That was just so fast. <laughs> Yes, the Guzman feeding the ball once again to set Domingo against Mike Ortiz. They love doing that. That big that, play. Yeah, and that connection really has really blossomed for Cleveland. Cat from behind. That drops in. That's what they're going to believe it. Another point for Captain Espino, this time from the back row. See a ball just all of a sudden drop from the flick of the wrist of Hurricane Cap. With the way things are going, she will definitely exceed her output in their previous uh, game. Oh, she's already at 16 right now. That's the play right there. That is the play right there. And that was the correct play from Jeff Ferrer. Lockers were just scattered on the floor for the pool smashers. Ilan pa sabi mo kanina, 14 ka, uh, last game si Kat. Oh yeah, she's at 16 now on 14 attacks. Good dig there with the one hand. Galanza, it's been a while. Uh, this time, Gemma Galanza gets her first point of the match, and she will take green light to the technical timeout with a one point lead. The biggest basketball event of 2023 is coming to the Philippines. Purchase your FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 Ultimate Finals Fan Pass. Get access to the much anticipated FIBA World Cup 2023 Championship game. Along with the battle for third place, semifinals, quarterfinals games, visit register.worldcup.basketball for details. Vilja is mad at our first referee. They feel like they missed a call. This is still alive. Gia. Carlos. The dive by Cheng. The spike by Tolentino. They get the point anyway. And Lazaro still. Jeff Benner is going to complain. They get the point. Not that they just have to focus on yes. this next rally. But... You do understand uh, their frustration because it was a little bit <laughs> parang uh, alanganin <laughs> in that block touch. Eight all. 
Highly contested third set. Dig by Ferrer. Tolentino Bumbuelo. And that bounces in. That was uh, definitely inside. Dreamline already saw that Isa Balde was going to set up Catolentino. Pangs Panaga closing out that cross court angle. Getting the point back. What a third set. Cheng is denied at the net. Back to back blocks for the Smashers. Three kill blocks already here in set number three. This time it was Tots Carlos. 10 8. Shot serve. Again. Seen by the blockers, they go to Cat. Cat rolls it over. Thought saw that. Gio will go to Valdez. Valdez trying to go for the down the line corner. Shadow oh. in US on that down the line hit. Nine serving ten. It is Desiree Chang doing the honors here. <laughs> Yes. Sent back by Tolentino. Gia will go to the other side to Tots. Nobody holds. Reverse bump set. Gia to the span. Papunta sa side to Tots. Carlos getting that point of a powerful hit. A one on the one. block of yeah. Isa Molde. Hitting line and getting past the defense also of the Libero in Tang Ponce. Ponce. 14 points for Tots, getting a lot of court time today. Tolentino again, and Tots saw that one. It's a chance ball. Gem, back to Tolentino. She will not be denied her 17th point. Really high conversion on the side of Cat Tolentino. I mean, what a time to step up for the Flying Titans. Again, for those who tuned in late, no Odina Alieva entering health and safety protocols for today. Well, for those wondering about Yellow Basha, she just sat down at the end of the second set by Coach Sherwin. Oh, somebody touched the net. Mike Ortiz Yata. Team line maintaining their distance, right? Here in set number three, they have less attack points compared to the Flying Titans, but they do have more block, uh, kill blocks rather compared to Choco Mucho. Tumalikud na si Maika. Avilia. Galanza. Valdez. To her old mate. That's a no contest there. There's nothing you can do. Catch and throw violation on San Domingo. Well, it will not be granted, and uh, Coach Edget Mabayan will be forced to burn one of his timeouts. Kasita Buna. So, wala tayong ibang may instruct dyan. Ano nangyayari? Nagmamadali tayo sa bawat galaw. Weakers na wala yung timing ng pass natin. So, hindi makapag-key si Git Setter sa atin. Kita mo yung binibitawan niya, di ba? Andun lagi, andun. Kasi nalilate yung approach natin, nawawala tayo sa tono. Okay? Tapos yung paghabol natin sa block, ha? Huwag wave, huwag wave. Stay lang, stay laglag left. Stay laglag right, ha? Very technical on that timeout. And they're just giving instructions to the middle blockers, not just in the positioning of their hands every time they put a stop to the offense of Dreamline, pero yung tempo, they do have to get it right if you want to fool San Domingo and the rest of the Bulls Smashers. Jericho Cruz, Mosh Cruz, and family, the whole family here. Wall of Asia Arena. 13 10 is our score. It's a better attack there. That's the tempo that they want because the set is right. You can't allow only lang isang step. You approach the middle blockers ng Choco Mucho. That's why nagiging delayed. Yun yung sabi ni Coach Ejen. 
now, same double substitution for the Flying Titans. Dina Wong will come in alongside Caitlin Giray. Ferrer moves out, Tolentino moves out. 11 serving 13. Best setter in the UAAP season 80. And she also played as a libero, talking about yes. Dina Wong. Yes. Tabi natin best setter dito. A oh, nice dig by Cheng. Cheng holding on to her back though. Pelanza rolls it to the other side. Pirai. She will lose that joust. That set too tight. 14-11. That was just too close to the net yeah. for Caitlin Virai. Tried to use her offhand, but Eliza Valdez was already there. Wong to Ortiz. Playable. Wong to Virai. Another point for Caitlin Virai, this time off the hands of Gemma Galanza. And as a lefty, they just really have their angles down when it comes to hitting on the opposite side yeah. of the court. That's their side. Strong side. Gia. Galanza guides it to the other side. Ponce keeps it alive and a chance ball for Greenline. This time it is Domingo. While Chomomocho was still scrambling back, we already knew it <laughs> that they were going to go for that fast play. Gianna Guzman, time and time again, kapunta kay Seth Domingo. And aside from the chance balls given by Chomomocho, kahit na nasa attack line si Gianna Guzman, she can still set that ball up in the same tempo for Seth Domingo. Three-point lead. Make that four-point lead. Biggest lead of this set. And it comes at the second technical timeout of set number three. Back inside the jam pack SM Mall of Asia Arena. Got 300 pesos? Well, enjoy NBA TV Philippines now. More affordable at Signal Postpaid Plan 290 or prepaid load 300. Watch all the action extended until December 31, 2022. 15,000 the last time we were here. Now we started the game. 14,600. You and I talked about it. We knew this was going to happen. Once people came in and settled in, 19,117 on a Thursday. Now the flying line dancers having a difficult time in passing that ball to be in a wall. Set the bingo doing a pretty good job here on the service line for the Cool Smashers. Biggest lead of the set now at five. Too much muscle behind the swing of Seth Domingo. If you're on the side of the flying pipelines, you have to utilize the fact that Team Line is not using their reinforcement in yellow basa. Right. But we know that even with an all Filipino lineup, Correct. Team Line is one of the most dominant teams here in the PBL. And still alive. Valdez from behind. Kate rolls it. Atienza dives. Dot sends it to the other side. Wong chooses Chang. And Chang chooses the drop. The communication on the side of Tots Carlos and Gemma Galanza. Gemma Galanza was already in possession, but Tots Carlos also made that attempt for the dig. Yes. 
Back to three. Biggest lead was at five. Oh, and another wasted opportunity here. Dami pinipigay, Neil. They had their fair share of unworth errors on the line. Definitely not helping their cause. This is a must game. Must win game for Chocomucho. Chocomucho at three and three. Well, green line safely at six and one. That also sails out. Gant will come back. So will Jem. Mina moves out together with Kane. Chokmuch is right in this deal. We need to be able to deliver heavy serves because this is what worked in set number one. But now, sobrang fluid na ng passing ng green line. That's why they're having a field day in setting up their offense. Wow, Jem gave her body on that save. Could not keep it in play. Fox Carlos, too much power behind this windup. The system of Dreamline works best pag controlado nila yung tempo on that first pass. Started off with Kyla Atienza and uh, Gia de Guzman had an easy time setting up Fox Carlos. Another Miss chance ball. Yeah, Miss Set. Valdez takes advantage. It's out, but there was a net violation called on a Cherry Muna. And more errors coming in the side of the Flying Titans. Another timeout for Coach Edson Kabaya. Control mo yan, okay? Compose mo yung sarili mo dyan. Sayang, outside yung bola. Okay? Pag na-recover natin yan, kunin ulit natin yung momentum, kunin nyo yung kumpiyansa natin. Okay? Let's go! Girls, girls, tarali mo lang, ha? Uh -huh. Balik natin yung receive natin. Yes! Tahan-tahan tayo. Let's go! Tahan-tahan, okay. girls! Okay. One, two, three! Okay. Lightning! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, let's... Step out mo na. Which Edget had to call the timeout. The lead is back at five. And it's at the latter stages of this third. Ferrer. Cheng goes for the swipe. Chance ball here for the Flying Titans. And this time... It is Eliza who touched the net, but they were going to get the point that way. Now Choco Mucho is utilizing the two liberos in their roster, yeah. Tang Ponce and Denise Lazaro Revilla, nagpapalitan. More so here in the third set, ano? And ganun din dito sa cream line, Ella De Jesus and Kyla Atienza manning the floor for the Cool Smashers. Slide attack. Delayed by Molde. Panaga saw that. Tapika ng bola. Gia will bump it to Valdez. Valdez goes cross court. Ponce diving for that save. Counter attack here by Creamline. Bump to the other side. Touch. Panaga. Oh! Miss timing. That gift from Choco Mucho. Thanks, Panaga. Too much power. Ehalo Gigil Dile. Nobody in front of her on this return. Look at Ponce. Nobody in front of her, but just the space between her and that net. Medyo malayo yun yung distance niya yes. sa net. That's why that ball didn't go over. 17-20. 18-20. Then run. Did you run here? They were down five. Remember, 2015, 3-0 run. So Coach Sherwin calls time. Let's 
Three straight points by the Flying Titans, forcing the hand of Coach Sherwin Meneses. In most of his timeouts, like he pina point out na this is a situation that we've practiced uh, multiple times already, and they will go back to that basic uh, pattern of receiving that ball well. So 18, serving 20. Atienza with the first ball. Carlos drops out. Sheer force. Choco Mucho can't seem to go over that three-point lead. They managed to uh, cut it down. Now, Phil Cayetano will be coming in for the serve. Will be replacing Banks Managa. Twenty-one serving eighteen. It's a good attack and a good set. Good height for Cherry. Good tempo as well. And even in the transition plays as a middle blocker, you have to keep on approaching. Same. Lang. Kailangan parehas yung pasok mo because sometimes setters become very creative and they will find the way na may hatid sa yung bola. And sometimes you can actually convert dun sa mga awkward sets pa mm. na save using one hand. Down two again. 19, serving 21. BDL. Short serve. Oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I what am. A, I am speechless. What a set and what a swing. Said Domingo for the kill. Kneeling, be quick set. Oh, what a masterpiece. The chef's from kiss. <laughs> chef's kiss. Gia de Guzman. She got me speechless. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it was her, he, she told me at the start of the conference, she, so, she told me Sherwin Meneses stole her because she thought she already reached her peak. It was Coach Sherwin Meneses who brought out still another level from her, she said. Coach Tai, she thought that was her peak already. But Coach Sherwin, able to still bring out some more from Gia de Guzman as Greenline gives up a point there on an attacking error by Mitch. Choco Mucho has to work double time in the backcourt because Jen Ferrer will be blocking Eliza Valdez. Mm. Oh, that's expensive. The timing of that, of uh, it happened also in yeah. set number two. At around this time too. A lot of crucial errors throughout the set for Choco Mucho. Pag pinagsama sama mo lahat yan, you will really see the difference. That must be the way at the bottom service ace. And Greenline looking to close shop here in set number three. Set point. Four of them. Valdez, try to get another one. Flat serve. And a chance ball. Negrito opens up to Galanza, who puts it away! Fire nail in the coffin here in set number three for Gemma Galanza. Again, playing it simple, going above the blockers of the Flying Titans. And they will get a two sets to one advantage against their sister team. And the number one team in the league, a set away from win number seven.
Back inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena in front of 19,117 spectators on a Thursday, well now Thursday evening here. A Choco Mucho Flying Titans give up sets number two and three after starting off strong in set number one. 15-25 and then 25-20, 25-20. And Coach Sherwin Vanessa is deciding to go all Filipino. Here in set number three, Elise Basha sits down and he starts using Seb Domingo. He just swung away on that attack. Gemma Galanza also getting some court time in set number three. Tots Carlos was the one who started together with Risa Sato. Green line attack in full effect. Although, Choco Mucho made a run towards the end. Cut the lead down to two at 19.21. All the answers, very good. End of sets. That's why they have five championships. Two straight for the franchise. They were out attacked by Choco Mucho, but the four blocks of Creamline giving them advantage and three more aces also. So plus seven. Dun palang sa dalawang department na yun na bawi nila even if they were out attacked. Yep, it was a big thing that Choco Mucho didn't. Uh, wasn't able, rather, to register any kill block in set number three. The opponent's errors, they were tied. Pero yung timing, mm. no unforced errors ng Choco Mucho. When they when they were trying to establish their own momentum. But or just a kill lot of, their own. Yeah, kill their own. <laughs> just a lot of errors on the service line. 18 points on 17 attacks for Cat Tolentino, Neil. Yung ating laban ng dalawang napakagaling na opposites. Tots Carlos with 17 points, 12 attacks, but she also has four blocks for herself. So we're on for set number four. Choco Mucho obviously has to win this one to take us to a fifth. Earlier we had a five-setter as Jerry Tigo finally gets uh, their win that puts them at up six and two. Which puts them safely into the semifinals. Petrogas at third place, stationary, their idol right now. They will go up against the United Auctioneers Army, maybe troopers in their next match. We'll give you the update on our schedule. But now, set number four is underway. Big save there by Tan Ponce. Gemma, sorry, that's Gia shooting it to Tots. Tang will bump set it to Cheng. And Cheng will score. That was the right angle of choice for Desiree Cheng, Gemma Galanza, and Bang Spanaga already closing out that option for his down the line attack. 1 0 here at set 4. Gia will go back to Tots. Nobody in front of her. Why? Because Pax Panaga, sabi mga Neil, pumapasok na pumapasok yung mga middle blockers ng cream line, which really draws a lot of attention. Gravity. Yan yeah, la gravity plays, even in volleyball. Ferrer shoots it, reverse. And Tolentino scores her 19th point. What a production today. Badly needed without Odina Alieva. Mabalik siya dun sa usual average. Pag all Filipino yung conference natin. And they do have a chance to force a decider. 14 points also for Des Cheng. Great support. Make that 15 mm, after that, that service ace. She is probably one of the best servers right now for Choco Mucho. As long as Umaso support that hindi magkaroon ng error on their side. I mean, I'm coming from the Nasal system, and you know that uh, that's a discipline for them. They always play with heavy serves. Oh, this oh, one crawls oh, through. Oh, oh. Lucky point, lucky serve for Des Cheng. Kunting pectus. <laughs> The tape of the net catching this one, but the sheer force just keeps it rolling to the other side. And 
in sets 2 and 3 ni lagi sila yung naghahabol eh. So, ito magandang simula, obviously for them. To have a little bit of a lead, 4-1. Thoughts, all alone. Just the, the approach. Yeah. Feel. Very explosive approach, high contact point, powerful swing. If you put that all together, we're cool, huh? Pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of miss that, that you know, that, that, that look of hers. Maybe it's a semi final. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'll talk to her later. <laughs> Just add so much character to her. <laughs> Molde. Galanza. Valdez. Oh, the Kahian. Let's check it with Lexi Rodriguez right now. A new system, a new coach, but with the same goal is still on the lookout for a win over their sister team. Both Coach Edget and Coach Mona are working hand in hand to reach their goal. And according to them, the foundation of that goal and their adjustment period is trust. Parehas silang nagtitiwala at naniniwala na kaya nilang kumapit sa kahit anumang sitwasyon. And now, although they're down with two sets, they're still optimistic in showing what they're capable of. Now, let's turn it back to you guys. Thank you very much, Lexi. By the way, there's a challenge here. Ball in, ball out. While Lexi was reporting about Coach Edget and Coach Mona. Belated happy birthday kay Coach Mona. Diba? She celebrated a birthday just recently. There will be a challenge on the side of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Was that on the serve? On the serve of Pangs Banaga. Pangs? Ban Pangs Banaga. And she was confident and she was that asking yeah. for the coaching staff to pull out that card right. and challenge that call by the referees. She felt it dropped at the end as then then let it go. Had a few challenges today. This one, the first one for set number four. A highly charged matchup. Yes, definitely. Good call by Pangs. <laughs> On they, the line, money serve for Pangs Managa. And they will keep they their keep the challenge, challenge opportunity. Game is now tied at four. Four, one was the score. So three straight points. For the cool smashers. Ferrer with the one hand. And that's what you're talking about, Neil. If you're a middle blocker, you just have to go in and go in with intention. Media with the adjustment, not the uh, best of hits. But one hand set from Jeff Ferrer to three, get that point. Three times best center, did you? <laughs> In the UAP, of course. Galanza hinated kay Gia. It's good block by Molde. Cat. High ball. Another one. Oh! Molde attacking with authority. Extra muscle on that hit from Isa Molde. She has been checked multiple times by the blockers of Creamline, but now she decides to avoid the block and put more power. New approach, Mila, no? Very aggressive. 6-4. They stopped the run of Creamline. Another net ball. This time, Naluno to set. This time, that was just uh, too high for San Domingo. Sets form though, Neil. It was a gamble year, yeah. though for Gia de Guzman. Correct. Through the years, Sets, Sets form has just vastly improved. And I don't know if the hair it helps that, <laughs> that, that form do when it flies through the air. Valdez knew there was an open spot. Which Edget says it's okay. Wash it off. Move on to the next play. Big ball on the defense. Oh, Choco Mucho. It was just a drop ball from Eliza Valdez, but it was well placed. Jeff Ferrer just far away from that zone. Cat gets it through the block. Tolentino, Tolentino continues to pound 
the points for Choco Mucho. Better first ball, the cream light pool smashers or the choco mucho flying titans. Hmm, ano pa yung nante nyo? Tara, magbeat na kayo. Ano sagot nyo? Thank you, Panay. And that's a really good question because these are the two best receiving teams. Yuki says, I think it would be CCS. It's all their players are good passers, but we shouldn't be underestimating choco mucho because imagine having the then the Lazaro as your leader. Consistency, floor defense, and offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I guess at the end of Green Line will have a better reception. Gemma Galanza, aka Miss Everything. Good luck to both teams. And one more. Derek J says definitely the cool smashers. They have Gemma, they have Eliza, Kyla, who are all in the top 10 of receiving. But Choco Mucho has Denden and Ponce, who are both decent receivers. So excited for this match. You and the 19,000 people here inside are excited for this match, which is now on its fourth set. And Choco Mucho maintaining some distance between them and Greenland. That is oh. out, though. Lisa Molde overshooting the mark. They will be challenging Asking a 4A block touch on one of the blockers of Dreamline. Pero... Such a pity no to run. Some of the players behind Uduke Agunsanya, Regina Rocha. Block touch challenge. Very crucial point, too. If Choco gets this, this will be a five point lead. It's set number four. Still no yellow basa since set three, no? That all Filipino, Tinapatan, yung uh, all Filipino lineup, yung uh, Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Let's look. No, no. Block touch. Is that GS hand? Yeah, it's GS hand, right? It was a one-handed block for GS because of mine. So that's a point for Dreamline. I guess they just tried. <laughs> no risk action whatsoever in that last hit from Isa Molde. Now Eliza Valdez will serve. Three-point deficit. Over-received. Ganda ng decision ni Domingo Don. Sometimes it's so tempting to go for it, Neil, when really the option to set is even better. And she is still the primary option for Gia de Guzman, even if she gets that first point for the Gold Smashers. Let me reward you, basically. Lead is down to two. Cat goes long. Gia Humingi. She said, she did the Looking for all the grabs in the blocking pattern of Choco Mucho. Come a long way, said Domingo. Look at the elevation of said Domingo getting that point back. Cutting this lead to one so for the Cool Smashers. That challenge would have been a five-point lead now. It's a three-point run. Ayun na that three consecutive hits wow. from Seth Domingo. He's not an MVP for nothing. That's a tough set. I mean, Seth Domingo obviously makes it look good, but Gia, spectacular set. Nine all, all of a sudden, from 9 5. Ball there. Thoughts found it. And they take over the lead. And 
Coach Edgett will be forced to sue for time. Okay, atras lang dito. Maganda naman yung receive natin. At ang ilang tayo na maayos. Okay? Huwag niyong paluin din sa harap ng blocker, di ba? Iwas mo, diba? Sabi ko sa'yo kanina, dalawa yan. Ang option mo, palampasin mo rito. Paluin mo agad. Huwag diretso sa kanya. Ah, kaya yan, lansin nyo lang sila. Magpakita kayo ng todo approach dyan, ha? Jem, hila, hila. Huwag masyado, bilisan mo sa kanya. Paluin mo, paluin mo. Ano nangyayari, medyo umabagal. Okay, one, two, three. Fight it! Attack hard! From 9-6, so all of a sudden, 10-9, Cream Line taking over the lead. Just heard Bea de Leon asking for harder attacks from her teammates in the on the floor right now. Lysa has been serving and serving well. They vary the attack, but Cream Line wise to it. Galanza goes cross. Ferrer goes behind. That's long again. The rally continues. They still have one challenge opportunity, but they won't be using it in this rally. 6-0 run, Neil. Jem chasing desperately. And another chance to attack for Cream Line. And another said Domingo swing. Four points for said Domingo in those quick attacks. Papalit ng center ngayon ng Choco Mucho. Dina Wong will be replacing Jem Ferrer. 7-0 run. This is the rotation na tumatagal yung Flying Titans. They have to get Kat Tolentino in the front line if they do want to compete with the offense of the Cool Smashers. Lysa serving well, and sweeping well too. Of course it happens. <laughs> <laughs> now Des Cheng will march back into that front line for the Flying Titans. Taller blocking pattern now with Nino Wong there, so that can actually st stabilize uh, their uh, backcourt defense. Oh, oh. And, and you know, Domingo is just being fed here constantly by Gia de Guzman. The past five sequences of Dreamline have been uh, going to set Domingo. And kahit na alam ng Choco Mocho na pupunta si Gia de Guzman kay Seth Domingo, they're still having a difficult time in getting these rebounds. This is an 8-1 run, Neil. Make that a nine-one run. Green line is on fire now. Said Domingo just taking charge of the offense of the Cool Smashers. And Gemma Galanza just lingering there, just waiting for an opportunity to attack. <laughs> Wong will bump it. Cheng will roll it. Gia will send it to the other side, and they still score! A 10-1 run after that challenge earlier. We were at 9-5. Now, now it's a 10-1 run. Is pulling away San Domingo with 13 points. Built off 10 attacks. Remember, she, she, she did not start today. Yeah. She came in second set now, no? Second set. Now they have a five-point lead. Oh. Make it a four-point lead. She can afford an error or two. That is her second service error. Adi Madayag will replace Cherry Nunag once again on that service line. Right now, you can just feel the disparity in terms of power in the attacks of Choco Mucho compared to the Green Line Pool Smashers. And uh, they need to inject more muscle into their hits if they want to break the defense pattern of Cream Line. And speaking of muscle, Don Carlos gets them into the second technical timeout with a five-point lead.
anniversary of uh, the De Guzmans. It's a panahon on One year. She celebrates it with uh, a win and a, a new do. And maybe another win today. And what else? Maybe even a best player award. You never know because she has been spectacular distributing today. And so far, really has been the best setter. By, by a margin. Yeah. By a far margin. And with two six ex excellent sets. A set. Defense kicking in for the Bulls Masters. Closing in on the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. 12 attack points already for Dreamline compared to the 5 of Choco Mucho. Castellino <laughs> after a long while finally putting a stop to the momentum of Dreamline. Now she's in the front row. More options of attack for the Flying Titans. The Wong has to pull the strings the right way if they want to force a decider. Four touches for Dreamline. That was a low set from Jerry Guzman for Tox Carlos. And they didn't help us about it. They need to come up with it. This is the time. Got to make a move here if they want to extend this to a fifth. Wong. Gia to Tots. Splitting the blockers. And Panaga easily dropping it to the other side. David and Wang overpass from Choco Mucho. And they have been converting. Pax Panaga making sure that she doesn't commit the same mistake she had a while ago. This time using one hand to go for that power tip. A five-point lead for the Cool Smashers. This time a stronger attack by BDL. That is only her third point in this match. That's the connection we've been looking for. Papunta dito kay Be de Leon. And it has been Dina Wong who has provided that excellent set. Desiree Cheng, who has 16 points, make that 17 on her seventh ace today. Great serve once again for Des Cheng. Coach Sherwin Vanessa's will call for time. They still have a three point lead, pero manini gurado ngayon ng cream line. Tignan mo na natin, tignan mo na natin yung mag serve. Ah, situation kasi yun eh. Okay, dito mo na. Medyo. Okay na, oh, receive mo na ulit. Okay na. Isipin lang natin, marireceive natin na mag-alala. Yeah, Tapos saka tayo magka-combination. Okay, one dot, one dot. Okay, bawi, bawi. Back row ka na. Apo, back row. Okay. Hey, cream line! Happy! Uh, at one point, we were at 9 and 5, and it was Choco Mucho with the lead. Then, Eliza started serving. Gia started feeding said Domingo and then match turn right away. But right now, Chocomucho looking to continue their run. This is the best rotation for the Flying Titans. They have Des Cheng on the serve, Catolentino in the front line. And for Green Line, kilangan nilang matanggal si Des Cheng off that service line. That's out! Wow, Dina Wong with a crucial dig of a power hit by Tots Carlos. I think they're going to challenge. The screen line's going to challenge. No, they decide otherwise. Parang inisip na baka tumama daw sa ulo ng isang taga Choco Mucho. But if Carlo Coach Sherwin says, no need. Two-point lead. here for the Flying Titans. They go to Cat right away. Jamma able to dig it up. Ponce. Wong reverses the Cat. Goes to the other side. Molde. Chance 
Nice ball here for Dreamline on the counter. There's a call. An overreach. Overreach violation call to Ahmed de Leon. BDL disagrees. And Jeff and then, then, then we're chatting sideline. I think they're gonna let this one go. Ooh, that is tough, oh. Neil. <laughs> that is a tough one. Would have been worth the challenge. <laughs> At 18-16. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> Phil, back to serve. Counter attack, Dots goes over the block, goes off speed and restores a four point lead. Oscar loves going for those tough spin hits, papunta sa gitna right. ng depensa ng Choco Mucho. Right. And they will have a four point lead. Bentang benta niya kasi yung yung approach niya na mukhang ang lakas ng papalo ni. Laro lang, laro. Go. Yes, apat lang, apat, apat lang. Keep pushing. Tayo na to, tayo na to. Keep pushing. Hey, one, two, three. Ni, let's let's just recap for the audience the importance of a win or a loss for Choco Mucho here in this match. As we see. Mr. Primetime, Willie Wilson, Kalia, daughter of uh, Willie, also here in attendance. Anyway, yes, Neil, my question about the win or the loss for Choco Mucho. And uh, they need to get to five wins so that they can get a spot in the semifinals. If they lose this game and win against their last opponent, which is the Signal HD Spikers. Right. They would still have a slight chance, but they do have to wait for the results of the other games. Yes. But that will be a tight possession for the Flying Titans, so they do want to sweep their next two assignments. Wow, Bob like Gaston getting an instant point off that substitution. Goes for the long ball and looks at the corner and drops it in. That's a great target. Maddie in front with Pauline Kat. Dina Wong will set to them. But they will be on defense. Lead is three. Touch again. Just varying her attacks. It was just a fast reverse set from J.P. Guzman. Adi Madayag was trying to guard San Domingo. But you have to remember that you still have a Tots Carlos yep. in the right pin. Now Kyle Negrito will be serving for the Cool Smashers. Michelle Mubaba will also check back in. Wong will go to Mavi. Joust. Wong. Bongai. Two straight points for Puli. All Ateneo cast except for Deschamp here in Para sa Choco Mucho. They're still alive, still down by three points though. And uh, Catalentino will move to that back row. So we'll get to see if they can actually get points in this rotation because kanina pa sila nahihirapan pag dalawa lang attackers in the front line. They will get a chance ball off that Gemma Galanza hit. Miscommunication there. A lot of converging here. Michelle asking for a check. Patrick Castillo says no. Lead is down to two. Manini Guros and Coach Sherwin send back the starters. De Guzman and Carlos. He's done. Coach Sherwin, his last opportunity to sub. Can Choco Mucho muster a comeback here? Flat serve. Set <laughs> Domingo once again off that knee quick play. 
just what the doctor ordered. And Gia, you see the slow-mo, she looked at her already. There, that little sign right there. And it is hard to guard a middle blocker when they hit long off that B quick play. Pauline again, three straight points for her. Having that power and the offensive hustle of the Flying Titans. Gaston breaking the block of San Domingo and uh, Gia de Guzman now. She will serve for the Flying Titans and Des Cheng will man the outside hitter position. Galanza. Still alive. Side of cream line. Cat gets it this time. Dina will reverse it. Free ball. Gemma goes to her launching pad. Bongai chases. Oh, so smart. The redirection by the finals MVP. Giving them the three-point lead to the delight of this crowd at the Mall of Asia Arena. Everybody was in that center portion for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They forgot to set up their defense. And uh, Seth Domingo will get that gift. That's a crucial point, too. Just when you were sensing a little rising tide from the Choco Mucho side. Thoughts. Bong guy. Cat, she's been quiet for a while. Galanza. Revilla with a dig. Chance ball here for Cream Line on the one two. Second ball pull away. The trickery, the wizardry of Gia de Guzman. I think that was her second attempt on that one two play. Second successful attempt, rather, for Gia de Guzman. She kept on giving it to the middle blockers of the Gold Smashers. This time, she gets that point of her own attack. Well, it's not just a point, it's a match point, too. Wong will try to go for her own. Gia will open up to Galanza. <laughs> now it looks like that looks like they're gonna challenge for a check. Gemma Galanza confident of that check ball. Dina Wong also confident that there was a check ball. Well, we have something to uh, settle that. <laughs> what a game! What a crowd! What an atmosphere! An atmosphere like no other. And. By the way, the last crowd in July was already the biggest PVL crowd ever. So this one eclipses it, obviously, at 19,117. That was way out for Gemma Galanza. And we're still alive. And uh, Choco Mucho still alive. Still alive. Here in set number four, three points down. Mandy Mendayag will serve. Coach Sherwin will not take any chances and will sue for time. so hindi hindi ganon kalakas yan so expect na maganda yung pasa yes coach magmuna iwas yung tres sa big quick pasa yeah green light happy go Domingo follows up her 16 point performance the last time out with a 15 point performance today 12 attacks three aces Pauline Gaston comes off the bench with some impact here but is it a little too late, we will find out. It is Mandy. Madea doing the honors. Getting us going for this rally. And she gets an ace 
Oh, I like to know that Choco Mucho trying to erase this lead by the cool smashers. What pressure. <laughs> Nervous moments here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Kyla, Dutch will send it over. Chance for Choco Mucho. BDL unable to put it away. Gio will open up to Galanza. Galanza is sent back. Dina Wong shuts down Gemma Galanza. And I thought that Gemma Galanza was going for a powerful attack. But she changed. Her decision. Sorry, Neil. I cannot hear you through this 19,000 crowd. <laughs> I cannot hear myself. <laughs> Screaming. Our headphones are useless at this point. 23-24. Gia. Tolentino. Galanza. Wong chooses to go to BBL. And we are going to an extension. Listen to the Mall of Asia Arena. Gutsy play from Dina Wong giving it to Bea De Leon on that back wing. Gutsy, gutsy. Now they have the upper hand, they have the momentum. Dug up. This is alive. Wong will bump it. Cheng. Galanza powers it through. After getting blocked multiple times, Gemma Galanza using her usual power to get that point back for Dreamline. And another match point. 25, 24, set four. And the very dangerous Gia de Guzman serving. Wong reverses the cap. Oh! Unloads! What a bullet from Cat Tolentino. Now in the front line. Three attackers for Choco Mucho. And for the Cool Smashers, they do want to get Sen Domingo back in the fold because she has been the provider of crucial points. Over received. Oh! oh. Set point on an unfortunate collision between Gemma and Gia, who's holding, holding on to the left side of her body. We hope, she, we hope that she's okay. You see, she's staying in the game. She got pulled down by Gemma, who tried to break her fall. Set point to the Flying Titans. Carlos. And a chance to go for it. Tolentino. Gia. Back to thoughts. High hands. Wong gets it. Tolentino. And we are tied at 26. Thoughts, Carlos and Pang Spanaga not giving up. They know that Dina Wong will be going to Catalentino in the last few sequences of this set. And they have closed out that line attack for Kat. Now we are tied at 26 all. A team desperate for a semi-final seat and a team that is safely in the semi-finals, battling it out. Kat will push it. A chance for Creamline. Eliza Valdez. Wong will go middle. Gia will reverse. Good reaction by Gemma. Dots puts it away. Another bump reverse set from Gia de Guzman. Pabundai Dots Carlos. So much control on the center of Creamline. And people oh, thought that she was going to Eliza Valdez right. because 
Mas malapit si Eliza Valdez. But she still decided to give it to Tots Carlos. And it another, paid off. Sorry, Neil. And another match point. That is it! inside! Gemma Galanza with that ace to get their seventh win here in the Reinforced Conference. The number one team in the Reinforced Conference had to be pushed here in set number four. Multiple match points. Chopo Mucho Flying Titans fighting tooth and nail. But it is Creamline who pulls it out. Heartbreak on the other side. And celebration on the next. 28-26 in set number four. We'll be back to wrap this baby up. Oh, what a moment, what a game. And what a set here to finish off at the Mall of Asia Arena in front of 19,117 screaming, and I mean still screaming fans. The game's already <laughs> over, Neil, and they're still shrieking after this four-set thriller. People were already expecting our player of the game, none other than Gia to just buy 24 excellent sets, nine excellent digs, and she has been the orchestrator of the superb offense of the Cream Line Cool Smashers the whole time in the preliminary. So it's just fitting right, to give uh, this honor to her. Right, just a great performance by Gia de Guzman. Happy anniversary, congratulations, and she is with Lexi Rodriguez. Hi everybody, I am with the best player of the game from the Cream Line Cool Smashers, Gia Morado de Guzman, with 24 excellent sets in nine digs. Congratulations, Tia, and congratulations on your anniversary. I just want to ask you, what can you say that this is your last match in the preliminaries, and it's a win? What can you say about that? Well, it's a pretty big match for us. Uh, we know we needed this win going into the semifinals so that we would have the momentum. And, you know, ibang laban din ang mga sa semifinals, so we're really grateful for this one. Yes, again, congratulations. And I think the last question, what are you planning to do right after this match? Are you going to celebrate with your team or are you just going to rest and watch Netflix at home? What do you think? Well, we're going to 
get a little time with our families, but then we have to rest early because tomorrow we're going to kami ulit. We're going to prepare for the semifinals. Yes, and it's all about preparing for the semifinals, and I'm pretty sure that all the fans here in the Mall of Asia Arena are excited to watch you and the rest of the Creamline 2 Smashers. Again, congratulations. Is there anyone you would like to greet? Fans, family, especially here we have 20,000 in the crowd. Uh, I'd like to greet my family and also all of the supporters here. Almost 20,000 people here today on a weekday. So we're really grateful for everyone's support and hopefully we see you in the semifinals. Thank you so much, Gia. Please have a restful night and back to you guys. And hopefully, Lexi, the, the little bump at the end with Gemma Galanza is not serious for Gia de Guzman because obviously she is the engine that runs that <laughs> cream line machine what a match for her let's look at some sequences that provided so much entertainment here uh in, in this massive crowd it started out slow for the cream line cool smashers choco mucho was just determined to carve out a win even without their reinforcement in odina alieva yeah. but when the dust settled san domingo provided the threat in that middle blocker position and gia de guzman just kept on feeding her the balls and even in transition plays, out of system plays, she would fight San Domingo. And it's also at the fact that San Domingo scored a couple of points from the service line. Yes. And uh, now Green Line will end the preliminaries as the number one team of the league. Three aces for San Domingo. We gotta tip our hats off also to Choco Mucha Flying Titans. Pwede na sila pumita out sa dulo eh, but they didn't, you know, Tolentino, Cheng. Bongai, Maddie, they did their job. Jem, of course, and Dina Wong. Uh, they kept the fight, but Creamline was just too much. And yeah. you see the number, especially from a, a blocking standpoint, the opponent's errors uh, and the timing of the errors, as you said. That was the difference in the last part of set number four. It was really the blocking of Creamline, shutting down Catolentino. And uh, most of the set stats naman were close. It's Correct. just that the breaks of the game went the way of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. All right, so that will do it uh, for this matchup. We look forward to more because there's a lot of things to be settled still, Neil, as you have been saying. Petrogas, they want to secure their spot. They're going up against the team that still has no win, the United Auctioneers Army Lady Troopers. This second one is going to be big. It's going to be big. Signal and F2 still alive as they try to boost their hopes in the semifinals. That's uh, happening on Saturday at the Big Dome, the Araneta Coliseum. Well, that will do it for us today. What a day. What a record-setting, record-breaking day for your heart of volleyball, the Premier Volleyball League. PLDT going down to uh, uh, earlier today to Cherry Eagle, who secures their, also their semifinal seat in our first game. And then the Green Line Cool Smashers win in four extended sets against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans who will not be joining us in the semifinals in the Reinforced Conference. For Lexi Rodriguez, Neil Flores, I'm Boom Gonzalez. We'll see you Saturday for more of the BVL, your heart of volleyball.